everybody, this is Rich with Music Medic. Just wanted to give you a quick product update on our Pad Magic. Uh, you know, as a sax player, there's really nothing worse or scarier than a, a, a pad that's going to stick during a performance. So you're not really sure uh, if you're going to be able to get the same performance uh, you know, in the moment and it starts to mess with your head and uh, as a saxophonist I don't really like it and I experienced that. Uh, I've been playing this Wilmington alto and it had a, uh, a sticky G sharp key and um, on the gig and it was kind of threw me for a loop during the set and on the set break I went ahead and used some of my pad magic and I did not have any other problems with it for the rest of the performance. And so I just wanted to show you how it works. Pad Magic is our uh, proprietary blend of herbs and spices that you can put on a pad that is not going to uh, let it stick to the tone hole. The, the most uh, important feature of this product is to know that it is non-caking. So after you put it on the pad, it's not going to you know, cake up like, I don't know, flour, wood, uh, it's either going to stick to the pad or it's going to stick to the water that's inside the instrument and flow away from the pad. So pad magic doesn't stick together and that's really important to keep the pad from sticking to the tone hole. The other thing about it is it has a bit of a crystal-like uh, composition so it's really easy to see once you, I don't know if you can see it sparkly on my fingers there but it's easy to see on the pad and it lasts for a good long time. It doesn't last forever, um, but you can put this on a, on a pad and it is gonna last uh, quite a while. So let me show you how it works. This is basically everything that you get when you order Pad Magic. It's only a couple of bucks. I keep this in my case now. And uh, the first step in using Pad Magic is to clean off the pad so we have a clean uh, cleaning cloth here and I'm just gonna show on this Wilmington Alto. I've been using this Wilmington Alto on gigs while my other horn is getting worked on in the shop here and um, I've been really happy with it. But uh, so the first step, we're just going to do this G sharp key here. First thing to do is to drop your cleaning cloth between the tone hole and the uh, pad cup and close the, close the pad and then with my G-sharp key, I just actually let the weight of the key, it's got a fairly heavy spring tension on this, so I, I just pull it out like so. And you can do that as many times as you need to to feel comfortable. There's even a little bit of schmutz on this already. And I, I mean, I've been playing it, what, what can I say? Um, the next step is to take your pad magic uh, applicator and so basically what you can do is take some of the powder I've already done that off camera you can take some of the powder put it on your fingers and then just rub it into the uh, the applicator and it doesn't take too much and this is a good supply this will last a long long time so the next step you're gonna take your pad magic so this is a cloth that has the pad magic already rubbed into it. We're just going to do the same process and I can actually feel that on my fingers. So this will stick to the pad and it's not going to come off anytime soon. So I'm just going to do that one time. Maybe actually that's all I think I need to do. You can actually see the pad magic right there on the tone hole and a little bit on the pad there. And it's easy to see, which is really convenient. So I had a sticky pad, and now my pad doesn't stick. It doesn't make any noise. This is pad magic. That's about as fast as it takes to apply it. So you can drop off the bandstand, clean your pad up real quick, or off the stage, or wherever you have to go to make your pad not stick, and have a uh, wonderful rest of your performing uh, time. So that's it for now, guys. Uh, have a great day and uh, a good weekend and happy repairing.